So this is me, and this is what's left of my beard. People in this community have been sexually assaulting a homeless man. Then they drive up on him either before or after their assault and try to give him nine or ten dollars. I'd like to ask you a question in America. Do we still have slavery going on? Do we still have the ability to regard our own bodies without someone trying to harm us at all? Who owns you today? Are you a bastard of Satan who sexually assaults men like me? Or are you a person of light from the Lord's house who knows how to let everyone be? In America, we have rights. But according to siblings of origin and people that I barely know, they think I have no rights. I was just walking down an alleyway so I could find a place to get out of the heat, sit in the sun and do some work without being pestered to death by some foolish man trying to play mental health doctor and or religious pastor and lie about it. And a big vehicle, the typical type you'd expect based on our market marketing knowledge and data, drove up on me to try to allegedly help me. It was a lie. The Lord refused his patronage and openly refused it because they stalked me into an alley. Those are never the ways and never the times to do that. It shows your arrogance and it shows your, what should we say, flamboyance. If you want to help me, you approach me when I'm seated someplace in public. You have a conversation with me. But the interesting thing about the couple is they wanted to play me with maybe, I couldn't really tell, but I'm guessing by what I saw in numeration, five to nine dollars. There's nothing wrong with that donation. The problem was the reason for the donation. And openly, I can't see that, but the Lord God above can see that. So when I refuse the donation, it means you're not good with God. It means you have failed yourself in every way. I had a beard that was down to here. Where is it now? Who had the right to steal my right to my hair? I was growing my hair out, but who shaved it? I've only shaved it a few times. The reality is I have rights, but according to you, I'm your slave. I'm your toy, but here's the deal. You're a coward who does this in the night. I had my tent set down carefully last night and someone still lifted up the side of it. Only a bastard from the military force of the police department would do something like that or a shitbag sheriff that you can always tell who they are by what they drive and what they wear and how they are overweight grossly and how their wives follow them like puppy dogs.